Welcome to the info video on the new coding and programming processes in Xentriflash. In this film, you will find out what you require in order to use Xentriflash, and what requirements vehicle workshops have to meet in order to work with it. First you will find out more about each online process in general by looking at practical examples. Then you will be shown a real example with masks in DAS. In this first chapter you will find out what you require to work with Xentry Flash. The starting point for the application of Xentry Flash is always the control unit. It may have a software or hardware fault or require a software upgrade. This involves programming, SCN coding or an exchange with subsequent initial startup of the control unit. Software is transferred to the control unit using the star diagnosis device. Star Diagnosis connects to the vehicle and therefore to the control units via the multiplexer. In order to work with the new online processes of Xentry Flash, you require an internet connection. You can set this up with or without a network cable. This is how you communicate with the Vehicle Documentation System, abbreviated to FDOC and other central databases. Here you can see an overview of the hardware that has to be linked together in order to operate. You can now work with Sentry Flash. You will find out in this chapter about the technical equipment requirements for your workshop so that you can work with Sentry Flash. The service of the vehicle documentation systems are located at the Stuttgart headquarters. There are two ways of connecting to them via Internet. In order to this, simply connect your star diagnosis system with a cable directly to your network socket. In addition, you connect the star diagnosis device to the multiplexer using the appropriate cable, SD Connect or Part D3. Connect the multiplexer, SD Connect or Part D3 to the vehicle. You can now use Xentry Flash. The second possibility is to establish a wireless online connection, wireless LAN. If you use wireless LAN in your workshop, you can work with Star Diagnosis Compact 3W and SD Connect without using any cables at all. You can set up the wireless connection to the access point using Star Diagnosis Compact 3W. Now also establish a wireless connection between Star Diagnosis and the multiplexer SD Connect. Finally, connect SD Connect to the diagnostic socket in the vehicle using the appropriate diagnostic cable. This establishes the connection to the vehicle control unit. In this chapter, first of all, you will find out how an online initial startup is performed in general. In order to perform an online process, you have to log on to the central vehicle documentation systems with your Xentry Flash username, user ID and password. After the login, there is an automatic test to ensure that the central systems are responding. The star diagnosis device gets the latest vehicle data from FDOC via the internet connection. If the subsequent test indicates that the control unit has to be reprogrammed, this is performed with the data from the star diagnosis system's hard disk. If the control unit is also SCN codable, the SCN coding data are automatically requested after the online programming has been completed. Then the control unit coding is concluded. Finally, all changes made to the vehicle are automatically redocumented in FDOC. If the control unit needed CVN redocumentation, the CVN calculated by the control unit would be redocumented automatically in FDOC as well. In this chapter, you will find out by seeing a practical example how an online initial startup is performed and, more exactly, about the online initial startup of Samfond with the automatic takeover of the previous control unit's settings.
Select menu item Initial Startup and confirm by pressing F3. Please note that for vans, initial startup is made via the menu item Control Unit Replacement in the Control Unit Adaptations menu. Select the menu item Initial Startup with automatic takeover of settings of previous control unit and press F3 to confirm again. A login window appears after having selected the Centriflash online process in DAS for the first time. You log in here once with your username and password. If you do not yet have a username and password, contact your country administrator to request them. If you work on other online processes, this login will be recognized automatically. The login window will no longer appear and the selected online process is carried out directly. Observe the instructions exactly in the order described. First, switch off the ignition and then disconnect the battery. Then you can remove the old control unit and install the new one. Connect the battery once again and switch on the ignition. Press F3 to continue. Switch on the ignition and switch off all consumers. Please make sure that the diagnostic connector remains plugged into the vehicle. If possible, refrain from performing any further procedures on the vehicle and finally press F3 to confirm. The control unit is now being reset after the control unit programming. SEN coding data are requested automatically from the central server with Centriflash. The initial startup of the control unit has been successfully completed. You will find the confirmation at the top of the repair order. Complete the repair order with the missing information. Press the F11 key to obtain a printout. Finally press the F2 key to close. In the following example you will find out more about how to enter equipment codes online in general. At the beginning of this process you also log on to the central vehicle documentation systems with your Centriflash username, user ID and password. Next there are checks to see if systems respond. Next the latest vehicle data is determined in FDOC. You can enter the required equipment codes in DAS. A check is performed in the central vehicle database to ensure that the codes are permitted for the vehicle in hand. If so, the changed codes are redocumented automatically online in FDOC. For documentation purposes, the changed codes are also included in the repair order. SC encoding of the control unit in question is often necessary in order to activate a retrofit. This involves requesting SC encoding data online in the central systems and transmitting it into the control unit. The process ends with the redocumentation of the changes made into FDOC. In this chapter you will find out by seeing a practical example how to enter equipment codes in DAS and then activate the retrofit in the vehicle by SC encoding. Select the submenu Entry for retrofits and modifications in the main groups menu and press F3. Select the online process with Centriflash and press F3 to confirm. If the online login has already been carried out, no login window appears. Press F6 to view a list of the alterable equipment codes which can be printed out. In this example we want to install a pre-installation for mobile universal. Therefore our equipment code is 386. Enter equipment code 386 in the equipment code plus field and then press F3 to confirm. SC encoding of the instrument cluster is now necessary.
In order to do this, go to the Control Unit menu. There you select the Control Unit Adaptations menu item and press F3 to confirm. Here select the Online option and press the F3 key. SEN coding data are requested automatically from the central server with Xentry Flash. It is no longer necessary to switch to the application SD Flash as in the past. The determination of the SCN coding string and the coding of the control unit have been successfully concluded. You will find the confirmation at the top of the repair order. The changed and redocumented codes can be found in the Equipment Codes section. Complete the repair order with the missing information. In order to obtain a printout of the repair order, press the F11 key. Finally close with the F2 key. In this chapter you will find out how online programming works in general. Online programming also starts with a log on to the central vehicle documentation systems and tests to ensure that the systems respond. The determination of the latest vehicle data is performed online in FDOC. The communication of the latest vehicle data is followed by a check to determine whether the control unit is programmable. If this is the case, the programming of the control unit from the hard disk follows. For documentation purposes, information on the control unit software is redocumented in FDOC. In this chapter you will find out how the programming of the audio gateway is performed. Enter into the Control Unit menu AGW and select Control Unit Adaptations. Next, press the F3 key. Please observe the specific information on Control Unit Programming. Press the F2 key to start programming. Observe the instructions on control unit programming. Start programming with the F3 key. Wait until the control unit has been programmed. This successfully concludes the control unit programming. You will find the confirmation at the top of your repair order. Complete the repair order with the missing information. Press the F11 key to print the repair order. Then close with the F2 key. Note, if SEN coding of the control unit is also necessary after online programming, this process is carried out automatically. In this chapter you will find out what steps have to be taken to end Xentry Flash. When a programming or SCN process is to be carried out by a different user than the one who is already logged in, the logged in user has to log off from the system. This can be done without completely logging off DAS. The user can log off by pressing the escape key in DAS. The escape window that appears also offers the option Lock out Xentry Flash. Select this field and confirm by pressing OK. You have now reached the end of the info video on the new Xentry Flash processes. Should you have technical problems with Xentry Flash, please contact the Star Diagnosis User Help Desk in Erfurt. We wish you much success in working with Xentry Flash.